Do you remember when everyone suddenly started creating their Telegram channels? It wasn't long ago that the shift towards Telegram began, especially with the growing concerns over privacy and the desire for a more secure communication platform. Many businesses have also transitioned to Telegram, taking advantage of its robust features. Notably, Telegram usage has been growing steadily in the United States over the past four years, making it an increasingly important platform. And it's a smart move. Apart from its unique offerings like Telegram ads, channel stories and recommendations, Telegram boasts highly useful chatbots. These chatbots have evolved into applications called Telegram mini apps. You might have heard of them or even have used them. While many still think that Telegram is a platform for chatbots, there is more innovative, convenient and visually appealing solution for your projects with Telegram mini apps. We'll explore how Telegram mini apps differ from regular websites, why and how you should create them, how they can benefit your business, and the most exciting part, how to seamlessly integrate your project with blockchain technology. You're on the Analog Vision channel, and today we are diving into Telegram mini apps. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. Before we dive into Telegram applications, let's define what a web application is. In the early days of the internet, websites were simple pages with text and images, just like pages in a book. They were static and couldn't interact with the user. But over time, technology advanced and dynamic sites emerged, changing content based on user actions. The main difference between web applications and simple websites is that web applications allow users to perform various actions such as creating accounts, sending messages, and working with documents. This became possible thanks to technologies like client-side data processing, JavaScript, Ajax, and various frameworks. The boundary between simple websites and web applications can be drawn based on the level of interactivity and functionality. Simple websites inform, while web applications allow tasks to be performed, making interaction more complex and rich. Web applications consist of two main parts, backend and frontend. The backend runs on a remote computer, which can be located anywhere. If an application is created only with a backend, any transitions, form submissions, or data updates will generate a new HTML file by the server, causing the browser page to reload. The frontend, or the client side of the application, runs in the browser. A web application can consist solely of a client part if there is no need to store user data beyond one session. Examples include photo editors or simple games. Now we come to single-page applications. It's a more interesting option when both backend and frontend are used. Such an application works without reloads in your browser, or in a simplified version, transitions between sections cause reloads, but any actions within the section do not. We won't turn this video into a programming lesson. So let's stop here for now. This information is enough to understand Telegram mini apps. So what are Telegram mini apps? Simply put, they are web applications in Telegram, but work within the Messenger's interface and logic. Hence the important distinction of Telegram mini apps. They open and operate through chatbots. So Telegram mini application is both a Telegram chatbot and a web application. Let's say you have a restaurant and you want to create a Telegram mini app for delivery. You connect to Botfather, the main bot that allows you to create and configure new bots in Telegram. After that, you create and code a web application, plan sections, upload images, and create all the user interface. Then, using Botfather, you connect your web application to your bot. If you want to create a full-fledged interface, you'll need to study API methods and commands. Based on the API, you can add options to the chatbot, such as promo codes, push notifications, order history, newsletters, adding products, or changing order statuses. The scope for implementation is vast. One of the main advantages is that Telegram mini apps are cross-platform. Since Telegram is available on all platforms, the applications within it are accessible on Android, iOS, PCs with Mac, Windows and Linux without needing additional installations or downloads. Telegram has its own apps center, 
a catalog of all applications in the Messenger. It includes chatbots, wallets and various games. There is something for everyone to enjoy while riding the Metro. Telegram mini apps are a great opportunity to go beyond regular bots and web applications and try to create a more interesting solution. Another advantage is expanding your user base without spending much on development. Creating a TMA is free. You don't need to pay for a listing in Telegram or buy a domain if you make a project directly in the Messenger. If you are embedding your existing application into Telegram, you still need to bear the costs of maintaining a regular web application. But whether you need it is up to you. Moreover, a mini app is very easy to use and maintain. If desired, you can manage your application through a bot. And this naturally reduces costs. Everything can be automated as well. Using bot constructors, you can create a chain to control and process everything. TMA is easy to set up to manage processes without using a separate mobile app. If you do business in a country with strict internet policies, Telegram saves you from being blocked. TMAs can be used, created and maintained without using a VPN, making life easier both for you and your users. Developing a simple TMA is relatively inexpensive and takes from two weeks to one month. And you can break even within one, three months, depending on the volume and quality of traffic. So mini apps are a logical continuation of transforming from a chatbot to a new promotion tool and quick interaction with clients, where you can buy products through a messenger without a VPN. And yes, more than 20 payment methods, including Google Pay, Apple Pay and crypto can be connected to a TMA out of the box. Speaking of crypto, TMA for Web3 blockchain can be a great solution. Everything works on TON. The TON infrastructure is fully ready. And there are already products that called for a convenient mobile application. For example, decentralized applications and marketplaces are very hard to pay at using a mobile version of a crypto wallet. Using two apps at the same time copy-pasting and double-checking 32-character hex wallet addresses is hardly a smooth user experience. It's so more convenient to do everything through a native Telegram interface with the wallet already connected. We described Ton in details in this video. Be sure to watch it. There's a lot of useful information, especially if you plan to launch a Web3 application with a blockchain integration. So how does integration of Telegram mini apps and Web3 happen? As we mentioned earlier, Telegram mini apps are essentially regular web apps. To launch your Web3 project in Telegram, first you need to create a Web3 application and go through all stages of development. Think through tokenomics, write smart contracts, launch your token or take an existing one and develop your application. It is important that your token must be on the Ton blockchain as well as all smart contracts. So, as I mentioned in the video about the blockchain, Solidity developers won't help. You'll need to code in Fancy and Tact. Next, you need to connect and integrate the Telegram wallet, because any payments, staking and, in general, any transactions go through it. By the way, the Telegram wallet is a great example of a Telegram mini app. Here is an idea for you a booking service. There are people in some countries who do not have access to Visa and MasterCard. You can help them to book hotels abroad using your Telegram mini apps. Implementing some simple copy of Booking.com in Telegram mini app is realistic. All you have to do is accept funds through Telegram wallet and then transfer it to hotels, minus your commission. So when the user needs to rent accommodation, they open your Telegram mini app and pay for the hotel with crypto from Telegram wallet. Since your Web3 application should be on Ton, you should use Ton SDK and Ton Connect. These tools will help you create a very user-friendly application. Ton SDK, the open network software development kit, provides a set of tools for interacting with the Ton blockchain. Developers can create, test and deploy smart contracts, as well as integrate blockchain functions into their applications. Ton Connect is a protocol that simplifies the process of connecting Telegram mini apps to the Tom blockchain and other Web3 services. It allows users to securely and conveniently authenticate and interact with decentralized applications within Telegram. This is a very useful open source tool for authorizing your mini app via the Tom wallet instead of username and password. Create your application on the Ton blockchain with the Ton SDK. Second, connect it to the Telegram wallet with the Ton Connect. Currently, 
All web and mobile applications on React are supported. Third, design a user-friendly interface for your application. Fourth, link everything with the bot using Botfather to launch your application in the Messenger. Fifth, you can publish your application in the Telegram Apps Center, and you can also check out your competitors there. And that's it. Your mini app is ready. It won't be geo-blocked. It will have a huge potential user base and transactions faster than most Web3 applications, which are usually created on Ethereum. There are already quite a few Telegram applications on the blockchain. For example, Ton Starter Assistant. This is a launchpad on Ton where companies raise funds for blockchain projects. It has a full version and a mobile version in Telegram for convenience. Through their bot, you can list projects and raise money, as well as participate in token sales and ICOs. Or there is EVA protocol app. EVA protocol is the first lending protocol on Ton. Through it, you can borrow cryptocurrencies and lend coins without leaving the messenger, all based on smart contracts. Does it have a future? Definitely. Telegram, aside from being a very convenient messenger, has also proven to be an excellent platform for business. While it's hard to say what exactly Telegram will introduce in the future releases, we can predict trends. First, it seems there will be even closer integration with Ton. Ton already has a grant program for Web3 applications in Telegram, which will naturally spur new projects to develop. Recently, Ton announced that they want to create their own super app in Telegram to unify all applications in one. It looks like Telegram is planning to become a universal application for everything in the near future. Secondly, crypto games are increasingly appearing in Telegram. Yeah, we shouldn't expect AAA games to work through a chatbot, but simple farms, tamagotchis and other time killers are quite feasible. Thirdly, the further development of DeFi. Many major crypto exchanges like Qcoin and Huobi could very well emerge in Telegram. And even without them, decentralized exchanges, lending and liquidity pools already exist in Telegram. And there's an audience for this. So there is no reason for new projects not to appear as Telegram mini-apps. As we can see, Telegram provides the opportunity to fully create a project, develop it, and even a website for your company isn't necessary if you have a Telegram mini app. This opens new horizons for business. Mini apps are an extremely convenient tool for creating your project. They simplify and speed up customer interaction and reduce your development and support costs. Yeah, there are certain peculiarities. Yes, you'll be within a simplified mobile application framework, but if done wisely, it will definitely be beneficial. It's a great opportunity to try creating your first project, which can later be developed into something bigger or even integrated into Ton. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it with your colleagues and friends. Who knows, maybe you'll create a successful startup in Telegram together. By the way, what idea is best for implementation in a Telegram application? Write in the comments. And see you in the next video. You've been on the Analog Vision channel. Bye.